Whoa, amazing. I can see the NGC 891, the Adrian Galaxy, which is uh, has a dark lane in the middle of it. Oh, I use the fan of view 38 millimeter, 70 degrees eyepiece, and the Sky Watcher 300P flex tube, 12 inch Jepsonian. I found it very quite visible. It must be dark, of course, if you can see it. And then from the central part, then with this, I can see the two uh, sides of it. I don't see the dark line yet, but uh, I'll try to see. I'm gonna change from this uh, now. I'm using the APM 13 millimeter 100 degree eyepiece. And I may change to uh, Teleview Ethos 100 degree. I put this uh, to avoid the dewing on my finder. It really gets dewed because it doesn't have any uh, dew shield. Anyway, let me do that. Okay, I found the best eyepiece to actually see this is the 22mm Skywatcher SWA 70 degrees eyepiece and it feels uh, half the field of view and when I move it's, uh, it's easy to find it again so that's the eyepiece I will be using. Really nice eyepiece, uh, it feels, I can see actually the dark lane with averted vision not looking directly so that's very interesting the 22 millimeter 70a is one of the best I can see actually the dark lane with averted vision, not looking directly. So that's very interesting. Um, okay, I should correct myself. It actually fills one third of the field of view in this eyepiece. Uh, yeah, I can see now the dark lane. In passing moments, it's not very easy. The whole galaxy is also dim and uh, has a low surface brightness, but anyway, it's visible, it's there. And uh, if you're looking for it, you should really have a little bit more dark sky or use high magnification. The way to Star Hope to the and to find the NGC 891 is to start from the Almak, which is the Gamma Andromeda, then go toward the slightly toward the east, uh, where there is a star called B Andromeda. And also in the finder view, you should see also the M34, depending on the finder. This is a 50 millimeter fine, 50 by 9 I think and uh, when you see both of them in the middle it will be the NGC 891 and you, you look in the eyepiece you see it there so from gamma to B then a little bit one field of view in the eyepiece there two field of view one two you will see that in the finder view when you see the Almac gamma andromeda and M34, in the middle is the NGC 891. It is amazing, this galaxy NGC 891 
is 30 million light years away and yet I can see it at this moment of time a mortal human being I can collect the photons of this galaxy concentrate them in this telescope and directly to direct it toward, towards my eye by this eyepiece oh it's amazing and this is the same for us we are looking at the eight, uh, NGC 8900 the same way that we're looking at the center of our galaxy the Milky Way that's the bulge of the Milky Way the arms is our galaxy is a barred the spiral galaxy and this is the NGC 891 as if we are looking into a past of our galaxy or is a twin or an image of our galaxy who knows